So on April the 3rd, Season 3 for Call of Duty is going to be launching with something called Boot Camp. And this is going to allow people to play against bots. Simple as that. So if you're feeling intimidated, it says here, by the growing complexity of Warzone and want somewhere to train, this will be something that you may want to look into. If you want further details, you could probably check out the article here or extra details that they have in the link within the link. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Along with the fact that now Rockstar Games has their GTA Plus library, which is like a subscription-based thing. You pay like $6 American a month. You get some perks in GTA Online, as well as some of their other older Grand Theft Auto games that you can play for free when you're a part of that subscription. Well, they've now added Red Dead Redemption Remastered for PS5 for you to try out, and that game runs at 60 FPS. And from all the research I've been doing, even though it says on Xbox Series X and S, you are only limited to the 30 FPS Xbox 360 version of the game. So in closing here last year, Rockstar, it says here, in update 1.03 quietly gave players a new 60 FPS toggle option on the PS5 via backwards compatibility. And although the news was exciting for PS5 owners, because they're playing technically the PS4 version of the game, whereas Xbox owners aren't playing the Xbox One version of the game, right? They're playing the Xbox 360 version of the game. So you're still locked at 30 FPS, even though there's like some improvements to the graphics and it's 4K resolution. You are still limited to the game being 30 FPS. So it's definitely a miss because it is a slightly better version. Definitely with the 60 FPS alone. Originally, it wasn't that big of a jump. But because Rockstar did unleash the 60 FPS on PS5, it's absolutely flabbergasting that this isn't a thing for Xbox owners and that the game is not out on PC yet. And that we don't quietly have a quick toggle for people on PS5 and Series X to be able to play Red Dead Redemption 2 at 60 FPS. Even if they gave us the Ghosts of Tsushima treatment in the beginning remember you could play the ps4 version on the ps5 at 60 fps you didn't have to play the ps5 version to get the 60 fps same thing with far cry 5 okay on ps5 it's the ps4 version of the game it never got enhanced but we got the 60 fps toggle they just unlocked it assassin's creed did the same thing with some of their older games with uh odyssey for example hell even small dev team behind uh, days gone they never gave us the ps5 version but they did unlock 60 fps with days gone even though it was the ps4 version of the game or the xbox one version of the game no wait it was a playstation exclusive. anyways that's not the point so it's still baffling i just wanted to bring the news to your attention really really messed up for xbox but anyhow if you were curious to try the ps5 version via backwards compatibility and you want 60 FPS and you don't want to pay full price for the game and you want to try it out, which is basically me, well then this is great. Pay $6, play it, test it out, and then when the game goes on sale or something like that, then you could go ahead and buy it. Anyways, I just wanted to share these two pieces of information with you. Again, they most predominantly tend to come from IGN because they're like basically the CNN of gaming news. I mean, they even have like the three-letter acronym like CNN, IGN. The font's almost the same. The color is the same, right? And then uh, GameSpot. Is it GameSpot or GameStop? GameSpot is like the Fox News of gaming. Is that okay for me to make that comparison? Really not that big of a deal. So I get information, I scrounge around the internet, I find some stuff that I find semi-interesting. It's like, oh, take a look at that. And then I try and go ahead, put it in my own words, and make a quick video on it to keep people in the loop with some shit that's going on that I think is interesting. It's as simple as that. Thumbs up if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. And a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. And I'll go ahead and bend it in half, twist it, and I'll snap it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, exactly. You know what's up. And if not, that's fine. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. Maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.